I'm outside Brixton Tube Station in Zone 2, having just come from Zone 1. Whilst in Zone 1, I picked up one of these from a tube station. It's a limited edition 20-year uh, anniversary Oyster card, which are now out and available at certain London underground stations. Did you know that over the years, there have been many limited edition Oyster cards? There's the Elizabeth Line one from last year. Here's what a visitor's one looks like. I've got just a few, but not all in my collection. But I thought I'd do a rundown of all the different Oyster cards that you may not know have appeared over the last 20 years. But before Oyster in 2003, here's a smart card that was used way back in 1992. This was part of a really early trial of smart cards that took place on the 212 bus between Chingford and Walthamstow. Other names considered for Oyster were the Pulse card and the Gem card before settling on the Oyster name. And it launched on the 30th of June in 2003. And whilst your regular Oyster card may be blue in colour, here are some other variants that you may have missed. To tie in with the Golden Age of Ferris exhibition, there was a promotional Tutankhamun Oyster card in 2007 that looked like this. In 2011, there was a commemorative Oyster card for the royal wedding between William and Kate. More royalty themed Oyster cards popped up the next year, in 2012, for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations. There was this very formal looking one, and then a much more fun looking one as well. In 2013, the Underground's 150th birthday, there was a limited edition Tube 150 Oyster card. And I used to have one of these, but I literally dropped it and lost it when out travelling one day, and I've never quite got over that. 2014 was the year of the bus, so TFL produced a limited edition Oyster card for that. And then recently, just last year, in 2022, there was the splendid purple train maquette ones when that new line opened up in London as well. But how about this? The green coloured one day bus and tram pass oysters, which I don't think you can get anymore and I've never seen one in real life. And there's also these visitor oyster cards which get sent out to people coming from outside the UK who are travelling to London. I only know about two of these designs, unless there are any more? And then a fabulous anomaly is that a few years ago TfL joined up with Barclay Card to have a card that was a chip and pin credit card and also a contactless credit card and then as well an oyster card on top of that. I doubt that this would work now if anyone still got one because how would an oyster pad know how to distinguish between its bank contactless functionality and its oyster functionality? There were also pink colour oyster cards given out to those that volunteered for the Olympics and Paralympics in 2012 and there's also a range of internal staff passes as well which are different colours e.g. red for retired staff, purple for bus operators, light blue for general staff and green for staff nominee and yellow for contractors. And phew, that, I think, is the entire list. Unless, of course, you know of any others. So these are out now just for a limited time. I don't know how many there are, but get your hands on them. Go to any Zone 1 tube station. Pick yourself up a limited edition 20-year anniversary Oyster card. That's it. Thanks for watching. Press subscribe. Bye.